On the British Connection tonight, we look at Dead Man's Shoes by Nottingham's own Scorsese, Shane Meadows. Meadows first came to my attention in the mid-90s with hilariously rowdy shorts such as Small Time and Where's the Money Ronnie. Shot using family and friends in his local suburb of Snainton, they boasted low-life characters Dickens would have been proud of. A self-taught filmmaker and a one-man industry, Meadows starred, shot, edited, wrote, produced, directed and probably made the tea. His first feature, 24-7, about a boys boxing club in Nottingham, was quickly followed in 1999 by the brilliant A Room for Romeo Brass, about two young lads under the spell of a psychotic ex-soldier, played by newcomer Paddy Considine. Meadows and Considine had been friends at art school, they sat together, and Shane had always promised one day that he'd put him in a movie. For audiences, Considine arrived out of nowhere in Romeo Brass, giving a performance that immediately made him a new, brooding British screen presence, not unlike Robert De Niro's Travis Bickle in Taxi Driver. Shot in Matlock in 2004, Dead Man's Shoes has terrific scenes of council flats stuffed with dodgy white goods, tie-dye throws, empty pizza boxes and discarded drugs paraphernalia. Let's be honest, we've all been there. Yet Meadows is merely updating the settings used in similar northern locations in social realist films of the 60s, such as Saturday Night and Sunday Morning. Although the usual banter of Meadows' dialogue still fizzes, he deftly handles menace in Dead Man's Shoes. With Considine, now a Hollywood player in films such as In America and Cinderella Man, giving a performance of calm terror as an ex-army man on a mysterious mission of revenge. Adding considerably to the atmosphere is the film's score. Meadows' use of music is always spot on. The Britpop of 24-7 and the scar of Romeo Brass. Here it's throbbing electronic notes of dread from Aphex Twin. That choice of music is probably partly down to the film's producers, Warp, a record label famous for electronica, now making their first foray into feature film. Although he's not yet a real box office success, Dead Man's Shoes was probably the first of his films to really connect with a wider audience, so we await his next film, This Is England, with eager anticipation. Next week on The British Connection, we're going to see Meadows' previous film, Once Upon a Time in the Midlands, a bigger project all round. But here, we see Meadows going back to basics and clearly enjoying every minute of it. Dead Man's Shoes may recall epic revenge stories more familiar from American westerns, but the original talents of Shane Meadows and Paddy Considine shake up the myths and turn them into a uniquely British experience.